Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So, okay, first things first, I know I talked about I didn't like this finger coil in um, my one of my other videos, but as you can see, I did it again. So I really like how it shrinks um, after a few days of wear, it shrinks into a really defined, um, into some really defined curls. So that's why I did the coils again. So it actually grew on me. So that's why I have my hair like this again. And let me tell you something. I, well, you know, I'm not gonna tell you. I'm just gonna let you see. So before we jump into the video, guess what? hit the subscribe button for me. I would really appreciate it. I would love for you to be a part of the family. And yeah, hit the notification bell so you'll be um, updated when I post a new video. And let's get into this look. Can't wait for you to see. All right, guys, so let's get this look started. I am going to take off this towel. Um, my hair is t-shirt dried. And as you can see, my hair has grown quite a bit. It's a full-fledged fro, and um, yeah, I am going to go in with some oil. I'm gonna go in with my Moisture Repair Elixir, and I'm just gonna saturate my scalp. Now, the reason why I am going to, I'm only gonna be using, actually, I'm thinking I may use a leave-in, but we'll see. The reason why I like to go in with oil before I put in the gel is because it helps the gel to dry, um, without that hard crunch. And um, it really helps to keep the hair strands moisturized when um, when it's dried and over the next few days or however, however long you decide to leave the, the twists or the coils in, it helps to keep the hair moisturized. And it holds moisture really, really well. So we are going to just go in and moisturize these hair strands as you'll see once I start adding the gel it's gonna turn white from the oil but once we dry it with the diffuser it's gonna disappear it's gonna evaporate so don't be alarmed oh jeez. So we're just gonna massage that onto the scalp, onto the hair strands. So now I'm gonna take a comb and I'm gonna part my hair in the way that I want um, the coils to drop. So I want my coils to come forward in the front. Taking my denim brush, I'm just going to detangle. So today I'll be using the Aunt Jackie's Flaxseed Don't Shrink Flaxseed Elongating Curling Gel. Um, I have been using this since I cut my hair and it has been like amazing. 
I use it for my twist out, for my finger coils, whatever the case may be. So basically what I'm going to be doing is just grabbing sections of hair and coiling it around my finger. That's it. Like, so easy. Um, you can make them as small or as large as you want to. It's up to you. And that's it. No. And I'm coiling them um, in the direction away from my face. And yeah, that's how it's going to look. So it's turning white from the oil, but it will, when it dries, it'll disappear. So as you can see, the middle of my hair is much thinner than the perimeter of my hair. So I am going to try my hardest to, I'm going to make the twist a little bit bigger. Um, just so I can have a little bit more fullness when I separate them after they're dry.
guys so I'm finally finished it took about it took about an hour to do um not bad as you can see I'm looking at it in the monitor on the side so you can see the white residue that's from the oil and the gel mixing but once we um once we start drying it it's gonna disappear I'm gonna make sure to focus in the center because I like volume in the center but of course like I stated in my other video it's gonna take some days of it's gonna take a few days to build some volume but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna diffuse it sleep on it and then in the morning I'm gonna separate it um, as small as I can to see how big we can get the curls to lift all right ready let's go So I'm diffusing on low heat and I'm just, you know, spending a few a few minutes or a few seconds, I should say, on each section, allowing that heat to penetrate the hair. This is the fingers. The fingers um, on the diffuser is supposed to help lift and give volume to the hair. As you can see all of that white stuff is gone so my hair is pretty much dry um yeah like about 90% dry I'm gonna leave it since I'm gonna go to sleep like this I'm gonna leave it um and yeah you can see the length of my hair I'm gonna leave it and we are gonna do a takedown in the morning well a separation in the morning I'm gonna try to pick it and get as much volume as possible but whatever all right guys so see you in the morning good night all right everyone so it's the next morning and it is time for me to do my takedown all right so this is how my hair looks <laughs> the next day so my hair is fully dry that's for sure and we are just gonna start unraveling so I want to, I'm going to unravel as, try to make it as small as I can. The ones in the back won't be that bad because they're short. But I'm sure the ones in the front is what's going to be the problem. Then of course when you unravel, you still have to make sure you try to keep the curl pattern. Take 
I'm gonna take a pick and just try to pick at the roots get some volume going the roots are pretty stiff though because of the gel so now I'm gonna go in with some Cantu edge stay gel So here's the finished look um, I'm sure the, vo the volume is gonna build um, as the days go by and um, I'll probably post some pictures to my snapchat so snapchat and my Instagram so um, yeah I am loving the look my hair is nice and soft it's not stiff and I can't wait for it to shrink so I get that big volume in the front that I like with my hair Okay, girl. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you have um, any other questions or ideas that I can do with this short taper cut, honey, because, you know, your girl needs some help. Just looking for other ways that I can style my hair. Um, if you have any suggestions, like I said, any pages, go ahead and comment below. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button and join the family. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys later. Bye!